Subscribe to Smartphone Tutorials by clicking on the subscribe button and do remember to click on the notification bell icon to get instant Today we're going to talk about a very very renowned ROM, a probably a ROM which is very very famous these days. The name is Dirty Unicorns based on Android 8.1.0. It is a custom ROM which has a lot of features and a lot of customization options. We will go ahead and install it first. We will look at the installation steps and we will see how it fares compared to other custom ROMs that we've done a preview of. Hello awesome people, welcome to Smartphone Tutorials. Let's go ahead and install Dirty Unicorns. All right guys, welcome back and let's begin the flashing. So today we're gonna flash 30 unicorns. I'm on open beta 2 with TWRP installed, usual drill. Do this at your own risk, backup, backup, backup. Make sure you have at least 50% battery and let's begin. So we are on TWRP and let's go to wipe. And let's do a advanced wipe. We'll do Dalvik cache system data swipe to wipe now before coming into TWRP I had removed all the screen locks and I just kept it at a swipe lock if that was your confusion to avoid encryption decryption issues um, okay so wipe is done we go to install first the firmware then the ROM and then the zip and then swipe so while this flashes let me talk to you guys in the last preview or review that I did, I told you guys to mention the ROM and you did. So it was great to see you, quite a few of you to be on a custom ROM. I'm glad that you're testing. Now today, what I would like to know from you guys is, as far as the OnePlus 5T is concerned, what do you guys exactly want to see? Now I have a couple of ideas. One is a, you know, real life vlog experiment is something that I'm planning to do as in you know when I have charged the phone at 100% I would start from there and then maybe at half the day I will tell you again what I've done throughout the day what has my phone usage been and how much battery is left and then probably towards the end and this could go for like two or three different days for one particular ROM and then it can continue for different ROMs so that is the plan I thought before I start I would ask you guys you know should I go with that or not so comment in the comment section and if you would like to see real life smartphone ROM vlogs let me know that that is one thing secondly I'm more than you know the channel is more than 2000 subscribers now and it's fairly active so I thought you know why not speak to you guys um, now I can choose to go live once every week or once every month that is completely up to you okay this flashing is done we will wipe cache in Dalvik okay let's reboot into system and do not install right so while that boots again um, I can go live once a week or I can go live once a month again let me know in the comment section when do you guys want me to go live uh, I have my hands on a Redmi 5A I have my hands on a Xiaomi Mi A1 I have a 4A and I have sort of a Redmi Note 4 as well and the OnePlus 5T. After this video, for a couple of days maybe, I will have access to a Galaxy S8 Plus and an iPhone X. So all the devices that you heard about, if there's anything that you want me to cover apart from routing and flashing uh, on the iPhone X, of, of, of course it's not possible, but on the S8 Plus I'm not going to be routing it because it doesn't belong to me. Uh, so yeah, a speed test is coming up and a lot of exciting things are coming up to this channel. So do stay tuned for that. All right, so while things were getting skipped there, let me just inform you guys something real quick. Um, all right, so here's what happened. I, I think it is a decrypted ROM uh, because it doesn't support uh, encrypted system. That is the reason I had to go ahead and format everything. And after that, I went ahead and uh, you know, 
reinstalled everything and that is when things that is when it booted up immediately basically it was in a boot loop so if you're coming from an encrypted system just go ahead and format everything including the internal memory and use universal twrp for that and you should be good to go talking about the rom uh, everything looks great it's very very clean there's nothing much on the home screen uh, even in the app drawer you don't have a lot of things uh, I did try to click a few pictures okay I don't know why it came this way because the phone was held straight when I clicked this picture but then again if you want to talk about colors and everything it looks kind of okay not that great this was a front camera this was the back camera again this has come up twisted so that's fine uh, the camera is okay it doesn't do an excellent job it can just you know get you through the day maybe if that is your thing so we will directly go to settings and we will see system and we will see what all information we can find just like we did in AICP so settings and then we go to system okay now under system if we go to about phone it says Android 8.1.0 it is a release candidate or RC version 12 dated 23rd of January so this is one of the latest builds that I've got my hands on now if we go back we have reset options backup and then we have gestures over here swipe fingerprint for notifications jump to camera okay those are the gestures that's language and input is something very very normal now we will look at the features here uh, if we go to dirty tweaks let's go back okay if we go to dirty tweaks we have a lot of options here we have a host of options here so you have the camera gestures music flashlight and then you have alert slider options now if we go back and we go to miscellaneous system you have selected dark probably it changes the notification bar I don't know why the notification bar is not coming down we shall check that later so power button flashlight is something you can enable now if we go back and we go to power menu these are all the options you have reboot advanced reboot screenshot airplane lock screen and this is how the power menu looks in this particular ROM all right so going further you go to lock screen fingerprint authentication vibration you can turn that off now oneplus i really want you to do that i it's very annoying to have a vibration i don't like it i don't know about you probably you like it but i don't like it so lock screen items you have clock widget date widget stuff like that alarm text bottom shortcuts you can configure all of those and then you go to status bar you have carrier label options and it force closed i, I think the same setting force closed in um, Android Ice Cold project as well but I don't know it's going to restart itself there you go so you get you can have a carrier label on the lock, lock screen you can customize it so you can put your own name as well you can go to icon manager and enable and disable the notification bar options for the notification bar and then you have quick settings brightness slider brightness slider auto brightness icon quick pull down and then we have traffic indicators if you turn them on there you go see this over here the traffic indicators come on going further if we go to navigation so you have button options like media volume control volume wake playback control reorient you can reorient the buttons all right and then you have the navigation bar you can choose fling which is my favorite this is how you go back with fling and then apart from that you have navigation mode if we change it to stock this is how it looks and then you have fling you have stock settings layout you can select compact okay so that's a nice touch there stock settings compact extra left button type you can also have an extra button over here keyboard switcher and stuff like that so that is something really really nice I like that customization option and if we go to the last option that is multitasking you have heads up so you can add an app which will give you a heads up notification and then you have recents clear all button and stuff like that for AOSP recents and then you have ticker the ticker feature is meant to be used as a multitasking tool and brings a bit of splash 
of the old times just to know while you are using the ticker feature you will not be able to use heads up notifications so you can either e you can either use this or you can use ticker so that is about all the configuration or all the customization we have for dirty unicorns um apart from that uh, not much not much here let's let's have a look at the easter egg for android 8.1.0 okay that's your octopus there right so that's the rom for you guys um the camera works i've not tried call quality and stuff it's just the uh, installation and first impressions that we were looking at i really hope it helps you and you like this particular video if you like it like share and subscribe and if you want to stand a chance to win the Xiaomi Redmi 5A let the channel reach 4000 subscribers and wait for your name to be called out because that will be a lucky draw thank you for your time goodbye